It's on your screen. Well, what's better than seeing a picture car on screen? Seeing one in real life, of course. We are about to right now as we make our way into the Universal Transportation Department where you'll get a chance to see some of the most famous picture cars in all of TV and film history, including one that's going to be on your screens in 3, 2, 1. That is Tom Selleck's Ferrari 308 from Magna P.I. on your screens and to your left in our collection. Check your screens for another car in our garage. It's Biff's car from Back to the Future, the one getting smashed by that manure truck on screen. We have cleaned it since then, don't worry. Of course, we got several cars to show off from the Fast and the Furious, because we are here at Universal Studios after all. And I'm sure you all noticed the cars from Jurassic World Universal's major blockbuster from a couple summers ago. Speaking of Jurassic things, do you guys like dinosaurs? Of course you do. And if you want to see a dinosaur, well, there's only one place to go. To Jurassic Park. I always let Richard say that because it's more dramatic. Yes, everybody, we're now in Jurassic Park where you'll see picture cars and set pieces and a lot more from the Jurassic Park movies, but you may not have seen this in Jurassic World. Check out on your screens a special cameo appearance by Jimmy Buffett, the cheeseburger in paradise himself. Not only is he double-fisting margaritas, he's coming out of Margaritaville, his very own restaurant. Well, if you want to search for your lost shaker of salt, we have a Margaritaville up on City Walk, but there are no dinosaurs there because they're here in Jurassic Park. You'll see them in just a sec. First, I want to point out the mobile laboratory on the left side from the Lost World at Jurassic Park. But now it's time to see those dinosaurs, which are in the cages, which are empty. Everybody, where did the dinos go? on my face, shock and awe, everybody. <laughs> I'm sure you've all seen those Jurassic Park movies, so you know there's lots of crazy rainstorms that happen in them. But a lot of those movies were filmed here in Southern California, where it never rains. So how do we get rain in a movie when it doesn't rain in real life? Well, I know somebody who can help us find the answer. It's everybody's favorite weatherman from the Today Show on NBC. Here's Al Roker. Hi, everybody. Here's today's...